somebody know what the Wi-Fi is here? It's written on their modem. Great. Did you have it memorized? No. She did. No, Dad. It's on. Um, Can you write down the, we the, should uh, be streaming. the router I wet for oh. me? Thank you. Why are we not streaming? <laughs> what, streaming on the broadcast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Froggy Girl. Oh, there we are. Hey! <laughs> you can see us. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey. We're in business. We're in business. I'm not talking. Super boss. Talk. No, for real, so you can talk. Hey, hey. Like a boss. Like a boss. Is it loud? I don't Do know. Is it loud? Hey, dudes, are we loud? Is it like really, really loud or is it? Is it really loud or is it just kind of normal, normal loud? Do you have a is, it, is it clipping on the DVD? Normal volume. Normal. Louder than normal Froggy uh, Girl. No, and according Sean to Ableton. Says, Don't Froggy Girl, turn your fucking computer down then. Gah. No, I mean, it's um, <laughs> it's just over zero. So oh, it's good. So no, it's right, not clipping. Right in. Okay. Yeah, it's right in. Um, we have to do some more messing with it later. Maybe sometime we can do that. It doesn't seem to be as long of a delay either. No, because this is doing all the work. That was the whole hey, time. okay, and now that we're back to name calling. <laughs> oh, wait, is this Matt? Froggy Girl? Froggy Girl, are you really Matt? <laughs> Damn it. That sounds like something he would do. Who's name calling? Froggy Girls call us butt faces. Where are you? No, I thought maybe it was you that was calling us butt face. Okay. Um. <gasps> oh, they're showing some people coming in. That's cool. That's cool. cool. Hey, big sexy. Welcome. Don't think I've ever seen you before. Welcome, welcome, Susie Show. Is Susie Show? Who's Susie Show? Shut hey, up. can you uh, give me that? Actually, no. Sorry. What? Cross shop. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Nice ass. Oh, thank you. Oh, you <laughs> stole that. Oh, okay. How about we switch? <laughs> yeah. Froggy Girl says, no, oh, no. No, you give me LOL. That. that was all me. If it were Matt, it would have been much worse. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, Matt. <laughs> How you doing, Matt? <laughs> oh, okay. And I was getting some people coming, so we'll, uh, we'll do the usual... Let the people of fashion be like trickle in. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another one. Cool. I'm glad to see everyone coming in. This is awesome. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we never we never figured out. Shot for me now. We, we never figured out the situation with the phone calls, did we? Uh, oh no, we did everything but. No. Shit. <laughs> well, we'll get there. We we have Mr. Braden. He's going to be a. Uh, Our producer, Mr. Braden. Mr. Braden. Mr. Braden. There you go, Mr. Braden. What do you want that? Uh, oh wow. No one's, ever, you learn? no one's ever really asked me before. <laughs> any, any work can take it. You usually yeah. just don't get an option in the matter? Yeah, yeah. I'm just usually... I usually take point on it, but, I mean, whatever. <laughs> we so, know Marcus is going to call in. We, we've got that all figured out. Yeah, uh, hopefully people can... <laughs> hopefully people can understand Marcus when he comes in. Hey, CJ, how you yeah, doing? Right. Oh, by the way, that mod that I was talking to you about, oh, the starter setup thing, yeah. I don't think it's going to be an issue anymore. Okay. Yeah. We are now broadcasting music. Sorry, dudes. What are we listening to? You want to talk to That's a good mic. I can no. catch it in. It's not on right now. I was going to put stuff down. I didn't yeah. want to. What are we well, listening to? If you do to? want to talk, I just have to crank it. and. You We're doing good. Um, little Cardig right now. We're trying a new setup, which we literally got fixed. Four minutes ago. Yes. So it's, just, it's, just, it's just how we do things, That's I guess. That's um, And here's the earbuds I told you I'd bring. Does it smell like piss? It smells weird. No, just, no, it just smells weird. <laughs> it's been in a rack in a box, like a road box with the phone. Do we have extra plugs over there? <laughs> what? No. I got one behind it's me. Behind. Oh. Like, that, you just have a straight up, you do. Okay, we can pop this out. My headphones, and now everyone can hear what's going on. Huh? What? So, 
plug my headphones in there. South Africa, not Africa. And no, he does not have the Ebola. I do not. We've been through this. Yeah, we just talked. I just got tested on the way over. Yeah. <laughs> Roadside drove, test. He, he drove over they do it at CVS now. So yeah. The minute clinic and the, and the Ebola testing. <laughs> do you say something interesting? Um, you know, I don't have anything interesting. Hey. Ask anybody if they can hear the music. Can hey. you all hear the music? And is it any good? It's the Punch Brothers. It's fucking great. Punch oh, I see. Uh, I assume that you're a female then, CJ Love. Does it have to be? <laughs> do whatever it is you can do to make that good. But. but, but yeah. Ooh, there's a nice hum. Oh. Ground hum? Sweet. Yeah. Is that too loud? Uh, I can't hear anything. It's just a hum. Are you out? I'm out through the phones so everybody can hear what's going on. How about now? Now I hear nothing. How about now? Horrible hum. Good? Yep, we're in. I guess channel four is out of the question. Uh, okay, thank so, you. So, no, all female, no additives or fillers. I kind of like you, CJ. <laughs> We've just met, but I feel like I can say that. <laughs> So, um, while we get some people trickling in, let's talk about this thing. Uh, Look at that beast. Whoever can say what that is wins one. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this is what is known as the Vapor Giant. It's from Austria, right? Okay. Um, I know the, there's a few people around that I know of that have them, but they haven't really been in, um, I guess, popular mode. I know there's a, they're starting to trickle into actual stores now, but Vape 2 uh, just got a massive shipment in, if I'm not mistaken, quite a large shipment of them. Um, it's a 26650 hey, side-firing side -fire mod. This It comes with a uh, K-Fun style tank. It also, they're busy making a dripper for it, right? Um, it's coming. They're busy making a dripper for it right now. No, when you get the full one. Oh, uh, this is for the tank? It comes with two sleeves. Okay. Um, the, it comes with a stainless sleeve. steel for the tank. Um, so you can just stainless all the plastic. It comes with an extension sleeve too. So we'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah. Well, thank you, Scorpio. Wait, what? He was talking it's, to me. It's not wicking right, so be careful. It's nice. I just... I don't know. I feel kind of threatened. Holding something this big, I just feel weird. You're not used to it. It's okay. Not all guys can't, you know, are used to handling a big. I'm just. I'm not used to handling big hardware. <laughs> hey, Christina, how you doing? That's with the extension too. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's piece it together. You can double stack two eighteen six fifty. Uh, why you'd want to do that? Chris has one. Can you grab it real quick? Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Can oh, we piece Chris's? It? Can we piece it together? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Uh, we're piecing up the double stack. Uh, you should well, be getting your stuff put, in the mail soon. Go get Chris's. Pants hurt my leg. Uh, don't worry, uh, don't worry, Chris Jr. We were late as well. Had me laughing. So <laughs> that is the goal to get you to the laughing to the point of death, but not actually kill you. Yes. So yes. Quite right. But no, I say that, but the more I'm using this thing, the more I kind of like it. I know. <laughs> I like it too. Can you give it a toot? Oh, okay. Now, this is what I could never do. <laughs> it, it feels like I want to play the flute. <laughs> Are you doing the Jethro Doll? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should be called. <laughs> the Jethro Doll. The Jethro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, I mean, to each his own, I guess. Yeah. See how that feels in your hand? Something I'm not used to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Are you she sure? Keeps she, keep, she keeps talking. <laughs> no. That doesn't look obscene or anything, you know? They misspelled certificate. <laughs> Did they really? So weird. It's, I'm kidding, of course. It's in not English. Oh. I guess that's how you spell certificate and. Austrian. Austrian. Austrian okay. German. And this name is just weird to me, but this is a Vapor Giant Mini. Which I don't know why they couldn't just call it the Vapor. 
So to, no. to, to me, this feels better. I'm, I'm just not a big 26. Uh, 26 hey, Chicago, how you doing? <laughs> yes. Wow. Looking a little left up. Yeah. Feeling, you can't just, like uh, cutting me off screen. Feeling a little left up there. <laughs> so we got some nice squeaky. See how long it takes you. To... Oh, my arm's gonna fall off. <laughs> so CJ Love, I guess you um, first time tuning in. Well, hopefully it won't kick you off. Yeah, well, I've noticed that, I guess, when you first log in, there's ads. Um, yeah. I, I don't think they pop up randomly, do they? I'm getting no audio or video at the moment. Are you the only one that's cutting out? Is everyone else getting audio and video at the ATM? At the ATM? I don't know what it means. Okay, we're still... That may just be um Okay, Chukata, that may just be you. Um I know we have some issues uh I think every week really. Uh with the kind of cutting out and freezing. We are working on it. Yeah, we're doing everything we can um to get that to not happen. But just please bear with us while that happens. Um Oh, that's the tip for. See, I like the strip tip. It looks like a steeple drill belt that I have. Steeple <laughs> drill belt. Yeah, it, it. Oh, with, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I was thinking some people. So how is everyone out there? Everyone had a good week? Mine was long. Eight second delay? It was long? It was long. Yeah. Mine was slow. Was it? Well, it was rough, but it was uh, nothing too eventful by slow. Oh, you got the, um, you did get the apothecary stuff, John. Oh, good. Cool. Took me a while to send him. It was like the week before we moved, and it was, but he finally got him. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you get, CJ? I always found the vape mail. Ah, you got your vape. Oh, okay, yes, Watsonville is good. I know last week when we were at Amy's, we did the, um, it was my first time trying Watsonville. And yeah, really Watsonville is. tastes like a fresh strawberry, doesn't it? You can even taste the little green leafy bit leaf. at the top. It's so weird. It is weird. But they, it's so damn good. No, they, they, they went off the charts with that juice. So yeah. It's really good. Sorry for everyone else that makes, you know, strawberry flavored e-liquids and everything. I've got like five, four people sitting here staring at me from across the room about to jump my ass. I'm not even looking at them. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking. How bad? I guess we're going to... Lose sponsorship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, let me do that. Thank you to Vape Dudes. Thank you to Three Dukes. We have one Duke sitting across from us. Our um, producer. Thank you to Vape Dad. Uh, thank you to Apothecary. And thank you to Suicide Bunny and King's Crown. I guess we have to call them two separate uh, sponsors. Um, thank you for them. They provide uh, support and the giveaways that we do. So thank you to each and every one of them. They're all amazing. Yes. Um, yes, thank you all very much for y'all's... Sponsorship and ability to keep us going, doing the crazy, stupid shit that we do. True. Because without them, it probably wouldn't be as much fun. It would just be two random guys talking, and they'd be kind of gay. Well, uh, it'd be gay. I'd watch us. Not for the gamers. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah, you <yeah>, got me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because I know I... We can sit you and banter all we like, but it's nice to you know it's nice to be able to give give to people. So the the whole reason this whole thing got started was to help people out. So it's nice to you know, especially if you know, and a lot a lot of people that watch live in the Dallas area, and you know you could you see, know, put your finger on a map and find a vape shop. A lot of people live in areas where they're on the ton. CJ of Love, shops. you you wouldn't be the uh, person in uh, the vaping group for noobs that was trying to get spearmint out of their tank and accidentally type something else. Oh please please please. <laughs> Please be you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, in case you knew the story, we talked about this. I don't know if you heard the story, Braden. Um, but it's funny because it was posted all around. The person who did this typo owns it, and it's great. Someone, it was epic. Uh, 
they tried to type how do you get the taste of spearmint out the tank and uh, autocorrect changed it to how do you get the taste of sperm out of my tank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a couple weeks ago, but it's so <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah. It made its rounds, too. It was, uh... Yeah, the, and it's cool, because the person's like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm the one. <laughs> yeah, um, let us... I know I'm doing, like, 12 different things at the same time. I'm trying, we're trying to get this phone call stuff working. Yes. Um... Do you happen to have a, um, adapter that looks like this? Uh, okay, we'll go on a lemon now. Yep. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have to tag team headphones then. Are we? I'll pop my headphones. Yeah, but you need an adapter. Yeah, so we're going to have you to. You need an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. So we just need to take one year, I'll take one year. When it's time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. He well, right it. now, I don't know about the other inputs, but I'm only getting one. Uh, so that might be. Yeah, that's fine. Well, uh, Hey, get those feet out of my face. Out of my face. Out of my face. Um, wow, I'm also only getting mono. So, I'm going to have to... Well, am I getting mono? La, 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 Are you la, getting la. mono? <laughs> am, I, am I getting mono right now? Yes, okay, I'm only getting one side, so I'm going to have to relay you the conversation. Be. Okay, right. that's fine. If someone wants to call, let's test out and see if this works. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a caller. Our first... Our furry first caller. So let's just decide, we are going to, uh, in case you don't know the number, it is on Firefox and IE. Um, it's real, I don't know, what this, this server is real weird. <laughs> real mini vape. Don't, don't, don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah. What, do you think this will work? No. No. <laughs> uh, someone dial this number. Six, five, nine, eight, two, seven, three. Someone dial that number real quick. I'm going to see if this is actually going to work. Um, whoever the lucky person is that wants to. Second ad in less than five minutes. What the hell? Well, hopefully that's a sign that we're popular if they keep on throwing ads. Maybe. Maybe we should start getting money for that. Yeah, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm the funny guy producer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why did you try and call? Okay. Because... I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, oh. Good vapor show. Hey, who is this? Hey, hey, Misty, how are you doing? Misty. Oh, this is cool. Can everyone hear Misty? I can't hear Misty. <laughs> I'll have to relay. Nope, they can't hear. Do you have it turned up? I do. I can turn it up more. Uh, is it registering? It is. Go okay. ahead. Turn it up more. I'm going to turn the headphones down then. How about now? How about now? Well, oh. Balls. Okay, I'm going to turn this way up. Okay. Put it on speed. Well, we, we have it uh, sets. We have it going through uh, going through a mixer so we can. Um, yeah, crank it. I did. All the way. It's Now it's clipping. How's your output? Like your fader? This fader doesn't do anything. It's, it's all on game. Oh right. my god. It's all on game. Are y'all still not getting anything? Turn it to 11. Why Needs more cowbell. Why not just make 10 the highest and well, turn it she's up peak. to... She's peaking now. Oh, you're peaking. No. <laughs> Congratulations, Missy. You are peaking. Okay. <laughs> well, um, we may have to do the speakerphone idea. Actually, hold on. Well, I mean, it, they should be hearing it. It's way up. Urine. Oh, wait. Duh. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, what channel is that? Two. If you can enable two and one, that'd be great. Two and one is enabled. Oh, okay. Well, is it on two? Is it not on the three? It's on two. Two to two. Two. Misty, say something. Um, no, I'm not going to repeat that. 
<laughs> I could change outputs to one of the ones with the phantom power. I doubt that'll make a difference, but I Say try. something again, Misty? Misty? Uh, no, it's not registering. It's only picking up. No, just put it on speakerphone. It'll be fast. Faster. Much easier. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold Holy on. hell! Just let me do this real quick. This might fix it. Hey, Misty, oh you there? Oh, oh, wait. I should probably do speakerphone, huh? Well, here. Go, go ahead, man. Plug it back up. I switched it. Okay, hold on. He switched it. Stand by. Might make a difference. I don't know. And we probably should have tested this before. We were too busy trying to figure out the uh, audio system. And now? I don't know. Is it? Okay, how about now, everyone? <laughs> Can can we hear Misty now? So so hey, what's up, bud? You got your uh? No, they can't. You got me. Okay, we have to do it this way. Say something, Misty. Okay. Like I'm wearing big personal. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I can hear you fine. We can hear you fine. Uh, <laughs> so we are going to um. Okay, I'm going to hang up, Misty. Bye. Okay. <laughs> uh, what we may have to do is just, until we can get the situation figured out, we thought it was an easy plug-and-play, but... It's not. Yeah, par for the course. <laughs> it's not that oh, simple. Oh, well, these don't seem to hook in very well. That might be an issue. This just... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... And I wasn't even trying to pull them off. You know what, what we are going to do... Okay, oh, bye, Christina. No, you cannot leave. You're not allowed. She's on weird California time. California time. Yeah, weirdos. Um, so we do, if we when we do phone calls, we have to do a speakerphone for tonight, and then we'll just figure out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Next we'll time. actually do some testing. We were a little unprepared. We had a lot of things that we were trying to do, um, so we can do an, another test later on. So basically, what we were going to do tonight is kind of talk. Uh, we're going to do a big kind of communal thing instead of you know the usual the usual topics of the day or whatever, we were going to kind of sit and talk about, um, you know, everyone's beginning, how you got into, what's, what's your vaping story, I guess. Yeah, um, like what, what got you to start vaping? I mean, were you a smoker switching over to vaping or were you a non-smoker and picked up vaping for the hobby aspect of it or, or what have you? And uh, speaking of this, there's a guy I uh, there's a guy we work with. His cubicle's like right across mine, and he calls me Cookie Custard. Cookie Custard. Every time I come, he's like, "Man, you smell like Cookie Custard. What you smoking on?" <laughs> and he went and got a mod uh, last week. Okay. No, Nick. He just likes the smell, like likes the, the smell of it, likes yeah. the flavor, That's which cool. is. So. Yes, I see. And we had talked about the Google Hangout thing, Josh. Uh, the problem with the Google Hangout thing, you have a limited number of users, and um, when you have, you know, everyone on camera and injecting that many camera feeds together, um, it's kind of a clusterfuck. <coughs> um, so we, in order to combat that, we need to do kind of more of a controlled, kind of a controlled situation. Hang, hang on with, to your story, CJ Love. We'll, uh, we'll have you call in here in a little bit, and you can actually tell them on air. That'd be really cool. Yeah, CJ, you're going to be our first person. Um... Do you have your phone on? Get your phone. Um, call this number. Just call that number. I'm going to see if you work. Um, Are so we trying we're going to again? Uh, well, we can try it on the what side. What number is that? Is it all plugged in, Brad? Yep. Okay. And all those. Cool. How are we going to hear it? Uh, well, we're going to see if it works first, and then we'll, we'll jump off that bridge when we get there. Oh, okay. That'd be good. <coughs> Can you ring on your side, Mr. Braden? Yes. Okay. Can you see it coming through now? So I take your speakerphone. Goofus. Okay. Can anyone? Uh, can we hear? Say something. Say something. Did anyone just hear Jen's voice coming through there? <laughs> yes. Sweet. No. Yes. Which which Duke Vapor do we have here? Is this Ian or is this uh, Greg awesome. or? It's Ian. Okay. Hey, Ian. <laughs> okay, the bleed over is awful. Is it? Yeah. Uh, are we gonna have to do it like this? No, I mean the bleed over is ter 
Is it because I'm sitting here? Yeah. It's because sitting right there. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like this works. So what we are going to do, my phone right there for now. So it looks like we may have combated the situation. Um, looks like it was just a wire. Of course, it was just a little wire. Uh, say something, Jane. Tell us, your, tell us your full name. Because she turned it off. It was better. Okay. Cool. So we uh, okay. So we know it works now. So we can uh, yeah. we can we All can right. actually deal with that. Bit. Cool deal. So getting on. Um, do you want to tell your story first? Uh sure. I'll I'll tell okay. my story. Um, to get things started, I uh, started vaping about a year and a half ago, going on two years now. Um, me and this uh, girl I was dating at the time, we uh, went to our very first uh, vapor bar, because we didn't know any better, and uh, bought a uh, starter pack and. Um, you know, I vaped 24 milligram for, uh, you know, a couple of weeks, and it really wasn't doing it. I was still smoking cigarettes on the side and everything. And so I uh, upgraded to 32 milligram for a couple of days. Oh, God. And that uh, cured me being able to switch completely over from uh, cigarettes to e-liquid. And uh, ever since then, it's just been kind of a di downward spiral. <laughs> downward. <laughs> yeah. It told me I could save money. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you... Uh... <laughs> So you didn't, you didn't try, did you try any of the disposables or any of the Sigalikes? Yeah, I mean, I, I had like, I had bought the blue and, you know, I'd ordered stuff online back in the past and everything, you know, and I mean, none of it actually worked because, you know, it, you get like five fucking puffs out of it and then the damn thing doesn't work anymore. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's your story? That's it? That's pretty much it. Mine, mine's not that eventful. I didn't have health issues that caused me to switch to vaping. I didn't, you know, go through some traumatic life experience or anything like that. It was just, I was spending like $150 a week on cigarettes or something oh, crazy. Yeah, and I mean, it just... I didn't even want to add up the math on what I was spending. Yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous if you actually sit down well, and think what, about uh, it. What were you smoking? Uh, I was smoking a pack and a half to two packs a day of Camel Crush. Camel Crush, oh God. See, I eventually switched over to Pall Mall. No, really. Because you could get them at CVS for like four bucks on sale. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yes, uh, the only person who set up a car probably, yes, she's in the room. And that person who is in the room is the one that showed me how to set up a car, though. And it is a bitch. But once you get it right, it's cool. And um, that tank is actually one of the new Vape Dudes Tough Tanks. It's a Pyrex Tough Tank. They are cool tanks. Um, I mean, car on for everyone. I know they, they kind of, they had their day. Um, I know Jen swears by him. There's a few people up here, vape dudes, that swear by him. And I actually, um, I really like the vape dudes juice in the car. Yeah. Because I tried some other juices in it, and it didn't really kick. Um, the way they have their flavor set up, and if there's a lot of flavor right in this stuff, but when you put it in a car, it really comes out. Some, some flavors get muted when you are using a car. Three years ago this March. Good job, Christina. Damn. That's awesome. Well, how about you, our fearless leader? How did you uh, start vaping? Fearless leader. Um, well, we have like an hour, so this is going to go in, in the depth. Um, my idea was, uh, geez, I need, I know we've all tried to quit smoking. Lord knows how many yeah. times, right? Um, you know, I did the, did the gum. It yeah. didn't work. Uh, I never did the patch. I did do Chantix. And it was funny, at one point my doctor told me to not quit smoking. And I loved that doctor. <laughs> But when I decided to take the plunge, I did the Chantix, and it, honestly, it, it helped to, uh, to curb those nicotine cravings, but it's not all about the nicotine cravings, it's, it's the act, you yeah, know? They, oh yeah, exactly. So, because I was in the mood, I was like, no, I could go for a cigarette right now, but yeah, I would be okay if I didn't. And then, of course, driving around in that big van all day at the position I used to have at work, you know what's like driving around, oh, yeah. it's, it's the habit of driving. So you now I'd go to work and oh hey just let me buy my cigarette and the next week oh let me buy my cigarette, which turned into more yeah. and more and more. And eventually you're back fucking back smoking again. Exactly, and at that point I was actually hiding it. See, that's what I did too. And that was because we had we had our first kid at the time, and I was hiding it from my wife, and it was you know come in the house, race upstairs, wash your hands real quick, you know change, <laughs> take a shower, and I just felt like I get home like is this really worth it? Yeah. Like, hey, honey, how was your day? Don't touch me. Oh, I, I smell terrible. I've been sweating all day. <laughs> no, it was like, what's, <laughs> it's like, what's this life? I can't even say hi to my family yeah. when I come in the door. And it was, got to the point of, like, every time I took a drag, it was just this. 
to be poetic was just a feeling of guilt. <laughs> you know, it was awful. <laughs> oh, actually, question: when, uh, when when you would like, uh, uh, when you were hiding it from your wife, were you hiding it probably for the same reasons that I hid mine, smoking from my family and, and friends and stuff like that also, was because you don't want to have to listen to them fucking lecture and that you was, about it. And that was the thing, too, because someone bitches you about not smoking, the first thing you want to do is have fucking a cigarette. Fucking have a cigarette! <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it really is. I just didn't want to deal with it. And yeah. eventually, so I went and um, I I got the blue disposables, which was you know the um, you know the t- ten bucks for the disposable. It's two packs of cigarettes. I think uh, maybe twenty four hours I got out of it. Yeah. You know, and that just got too damn expensive. You know, every two days spending ten bucks was more expensive than smoking. Yeah. So I got the little pack. I was I was really excited because it was it looked like a cigarette pack and it opened like a cigarette pack. It was it like the blue things? Yeah, with so the little cartridges in it. Yeah, yeah. So you, you put your two batteries inside and it, it actually charges the batteries. Yeah. But I was like, oh yeah, you flip it open and yeah, this is what I need. This will break that habit, which <laughs> that didn't do it. I think I got my uh, my blue pack, and then I had it not and like the next payday. I was like, oh thank God it's payday. I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Right. <laughs> so I went and got you know my ego and my my stardust. That's cool. Which was, and it, it, that just didn't work out for me. And then moved on to the EVOD, which I still have my very first EVOD tank. Oh, you? Home. It was, I loved it for the longest time. Because, I, I mean, it's a Kanger tank, so it's a cool little tank. Yeah. And my Ego battery still sits in my desk at work. It's my backup to my backup to my backup. I actually still have the... You know, because uh, I had to take four mods with me basically every day. So it's, you know, so it's... it's what's wrong with that? No, I'm, I'm, nothing's wrong with that. Nothing. <laughs> In case one of those four, all of those four blow up, I have my trusty ego. It still works. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still, I've still got my original, you know, uh, what was that fucking place called? The, fuck, what is the name of it? Just, uh, no. What was the name of the store you went to? Oh my god, I am totally having a brain fart. Anyway, the uh, place where I went and got my very first starter set up at and everything, I've still got the little clear miser and the little... You know, maybe it's a tester battery, essentially, is what it is, because that's what they were selling yeah. at the time. But, yeah, I've still got it somewhere at home. And it's so weird, like, looking back on how we started now. And, yeah, uh, and what we have now. And, you you know, and when, when I you know, look at a lot of the groups, I have the people new into vaping, I have got my first device, and they're getting some... Like, I don't know how many months it took me to finally get an MVP, and I was, God, I was in love with the thing. But now it's like people are going, that's their first device, which is awesome, because it's a great device. Right. But you think back now, it's like these, you know... People are starting higher up. I saw someone was like, hey, I got my first mod the other day. It was a mech with the dripper. Yeah. So people are, you know, instead of going that route, they're going straight into, you know, something like dripping and building, which, which is great. Yeah, I mean, if they can do it, awesome. More power to them. Did you go a beard? Um, you guys want to hear a Three Dukes fun fact? Yeah. Sure. My first ego setup, Jen sold it to me. <laughs> that is weird. At uh, her no. old uh, company. At, yeah, at her old uh, at her old shop. At that yeah. one place. At that one place. At that one place. Uh, Two I, years. Wow. I have uh, grown a beard several times over the past several years. Ever since I came out of the military, I said "fuck you" shaving um, because I had to do it every single day, sometimes twice a day. Seems twice. Tie fat top at four months ago at eighteen. And he's down to three now in four months. That's awesome. That is really cool. Yeah, very good. Rest. I think what, uh, that's what I did. I, I had the blue pack. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to buy the cartridges. I'm going to buy, like, I'm going to refill my own blue cartridges. <laughs> yeah. Famous last words. I got the 24, Nick. <laughs> and you have no idea when you put actual decent liquid in those cartridges. I think I took two puffs. Like, oh, good God. Yeah. It was yeah. so freaking strong. So, okay, fine. So, I did 20. Went down to 18. Someone told me to go back to 22, which wasn't a very good idea. <laughs> um, and six, and then dripping at three or zero. Actually, a buddy of mine who, um, old childhood friend of mine, he, uh, he he got into vaping not too long ago, and he's been using the little, you know, Ego T with a clear miser on it and everything, you know, and that's, that's been his setup for a while. And he's been asking me about, you know, getting a new setup and stuff like that, and I've been giving him, you know, vape advice and whatnot about it. And... Um, a uh, buddy of his at his job happened to have a Nimbus clone with a uh, Patriot Dripper clone and sold it to him for 25 bucks. He texted me and he's like, is this a good deal for 25 bucks?" I'm like, yes. Yes, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, he's like, oh, this is freaking awesome. He called me today. He's like, I'm ordering some new juice, you know, and what? And I really want good flavor and I want, you know, good vapor production. I was like, well, do, do a 60-40 or 50-50 or something like that. It's going to be about your best bet. 
for that. As, as far as a uh, oh, as far for as as flavor ratio, and yeah. vapor production. And, I, and he's like, well, what about nicotine strength? I'm like, you know, I was thinking he's that, like, fucking 24 or something nicotine strength. And I'm like, well, what are you at? Because I was going to tell him to, like, drop down to a 12 or something like that. And he's like, I'm at 2. I'm like, you're the course, buddy. <laughs> that's, what you just, that's what you got to do. You just got to, you know, keep, yeah. on, keep on keeping on. Life's a garden. I was like, are you, have you, yeah. I was like, have you been vaping with that 2 in that uh, Patriot setup? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, you're good. <laughs> no, and that, I mean, Patriot, I mean. I still use mine. I love it. Yeah? It's one of those things I think is kind of going out of fashion. The what, the Patriot? Yeah. Why is that? I, you know, you don't see them a lot anymore with all these other drippers coming out. It seems like they're just kind of, you know, the, oh, that's last month's dripper, you know? Yeah, okay. But that's I mean, true. it's still, it's a tried and true device. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but the rate of, at the rate that shit's coming out, you know, you buy something and next week there's something new that's come out. You know? Is that you? Or was that someone back there? Damn. Did you fall? Is that what this question is? No, no, I heard someone yelling. I thought it was his phone. Uh, no, my phone doesn't yell, it rings. Okay. Just kill yourself. <laughs> Northern Lights 100 Apple Pie. Ooh. I have not tried the Northern Lights 100 dollar Apple Pie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you have it? I don't have it with me. Uh, Hold on, let's give it a minute. I'm friends with Brian, so I want to talk about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thai fat top hat, bought a bottle of Northern Lights and November. Max VG, no Nick, just got it too. That's been my main flavor. Oh, wow. Hmm. We're talking about, uh. Welcome back, CJ Love. Uh, talking about $100 apple pie? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, Brian from Northern Lights, man. That's, that is, uh, the jam. Is it? I've, I've heard a lot about it. I've not got to try it. Well, I have a, uh, large bottle coming, so maybe we should do the next show. Yeah. Well, actually, speaking of next show, um, so, next show is going to be doing the Pantheon. Yes, oh, we'll be guess who, good vapor on the road. Guess who carries Northern Lights? Pantheon. Yeah, perfect timing. So, that's, yeah. perfect, that's perfect timing. So, uh, like I was, uh, like we covered last week, and some people may not know this, um, with this whole kind of, you know, um, rebirthing of the show and whatnot, you know, uh, Vape Dudes HQ is going to be home for us, um, which we just found out. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the Facebook. Uh, Vape Dudes is opening a retail store. Uh, just down the street from us, which is really awesome for them. Um, so what we're going to be doing, uh, once a month and maybe even twice a month, depending how the demand is, we are going to be doing a shop up or good vapor on the road. Uh, next week we're going to be doing it at Pantheon. Um, so if you guys live up in the Denton area. Or Denton, want to drive. Or want to drive. And a lot of people from Oklahoma drive down to Denton just to go there. Yes. It's... Uh, it's a cool. It's a, it's a different store. It's not just your normal, you know, going and you'll find out what we mean. That is about uh, it, Pantheon know? is the quintessential in my book, the quintessential high end vape shop. They have a very good selection of high end juices, mods. Very knowledgeable, very friendly people working there. Um, I've always enjoyed myself when I go there. And it, it is a cool place, and that that's the thing because they have you know I'll go and they're like, what's this? Yeah, I've never heard of that. What's this? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've never heard of a single thing they have in that store. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cool because you go to those places and you see what the new things are that are coming out. And apparently yeah. they carry this juice line called Three Dukes Vapor. I don't, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I, I believe they carry Three Dukes Vapor. Uh, I, I mean, I've heard something about that. Yeah? Yeah. Rumors? R- well, I mean, uh, me delivering it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the- as long as you don't burn your clutch up again. Oh, that's oh. not. Let's not talk about that. Is that what you <laughs> oh no, uh, we're going to talk about it later. They, they, well, carry, they carry Three Dukes Vapor, and if you order online, you can get Pantheon's exclusive, the Aristocrat. Yes. Three Dukes. Saw a guy buy his first mech today. He got a Chiyu Megan Hemo Edition. Wow. Hemo Edition. Hemo. High end mods only. It's a Facebook group. Oh. Apparently, it's important for some people, Matt. Okay. I'm just busting your balls, buddy. Um, no. Uh, yeah, Hemo is a uh, Facebook group. And it's just, they just high end mods only. Okay. And you have to be, I don't know, it's it's apparently getting in, it's kind of, I don't care about getting in, but uh, apparently it's a process. But do any of them have an authentic clone? I'm sure you're going to show us yours. <laughs> Why don't you show us yours? This is my clone? authentic clone. This is the first time I can actually say this is an authentic mod, but it's also a clone. There you go. How's that for you? Yeah, that thing's bad. You're a member of the. You're a member of Rebel Alliance and a traitor. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> My brother. <laughs> Are we reading some of the comments? There's a lot of comments, Matt. We're reading yes, there some are of lots them. of comments going on here. We need you to start like bringing a second computer, and if you see something, you... Or a third computer. Well, yeah. I can only keep up so much here. I'm trying to interface, you know. I think we need just like... Well, next week I will bring my, my own tablet computer, and I'll, I'll respond to things as things are happening. There we How's that? We'll make you a mod. Even God, you guys are so needy. I know, Oh, right? yeah, we can make him a mod, huh? Yeah. Like make him a mod or make him a mod? Yes. Okay. Both. We have the tools. No, um... Squeaky Lee, um, I'm not going to play those games. It is acceptable. You can, yes, it is very acceptable. Go right ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's not like that. No, no, know, no. It, no. We, we wish them the best. Yeah, best of luck. It is what it is. What, what what question are we answering? She said, might not be acceptable, your socialism. I guess they're telling people where to go to. Oh, okay. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No hard feelings. Hey, yeah, Cecilia. No feelings. Um... Hey, did you get you uh, did you get your mod? Oh yeah, no shit. So anyway, um, while we're waiting on people to answer question, uh, would you like to take our very first caller? Yes, let's do a call. Let's okay. do our um, official first call. CJ Love, I believe you were Yes. Um, please. Uh, let's see if we can make this work, guys. Please C ring a dingle. CJ, do you have the number? Right, let's see if this works, huh? Hi, Vaporhead. Oh, you're humming. I thought, yeah. I thought I was like, what the fuck is that? I thought, I thought something was happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Cecilia, I, I did email you the tracking number for that EA. Um, she said it was supposed to be delivered today. Um, so, but like like I said, uh, when you get it, hit me up on email or hit me up on Facebook. Uh, Chief twenty fourteen. It depends on what kind of link you're wanting to post up in the room. Um, I'm sorry, Ian Three Dukes Vapor. Um, I didn't realize you were starting to call the shots around you. Um, wow. What does Ian want? <laughs> Just Need kidding. Someone wanted to know if they could post the link, and we said, well, it depends Mods. what the link is. And Ian said, yeah, let's go throw it up. <laughs> Ian, Ian approves. You, wanna, you want, her to, want him to throw up a link about mods? Where's my caps lock? What about mods? I don't know. It just said mods. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. It better be relevant. Lock, 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 lock. You're fired. I just fired your brother. Oh, no, he can put it. Oh, no, he can't put his own link up. No, I guess so. He is a sponsor. <laughs> oh, Ian can? Yeah. Oh, see, I would get a dog bone if I had a 26, and I'm not a big fan. Have you seen the dog bone? Ooh, we okay. have a call. Good vapor show. Uh, 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 CJ? Yeah. How are you? Okay. Can everyone use CJ Love? There's, there's a little bit of a delay, CJ. I'm sorry, give us one second. They can use CJ a little. Uh, I can turn it up. Yes, turn it up. Turn the headphones down, but I can turn it up. Barely you heard it, so they can hear it a little bit. So I guess. Yeah, okay, I got cranked all the way now. Okay. Um, it's as high as it can go. I think my volume's all the way up. So, um, Well, CJ, why didn't you tell us your vaping story? Oh wow. It's not working. Oh no, we uh, for some reason it's not working. I'll read that. Basically, so um CJ, uh basically you, you you started vaping, put it down again, and you went to the doctor and you were on the verge of a heart attack or a stroke, and that is when you picked it back up again, correct? And how's it been working for you?
That's all that I have no Uh huh. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, how do you uh, how do you feel? Do you feel better since you've uh, since you quit smoking? So you haven't used your asthma inhaler since uh, since you started vaping. That is awesome. Um, I'm yeah. So I know we're having some issues with the uh, with the audio coming through, but basically, um, it's happening. CJ uh, back in June. Unplug it. One second, CJ. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's try it again. I'm sorry. Hey, CJ, can you hear now? Can you say something? CJ, you still there? Oh, speakerphone. Oh, that would be good. Okay, there good, we go. Good, CJ. And, um, someone said that if I go six days without smoking, they'll give me some juice. And there's six days, and I laid them down on the 12th of July, and I do, um, a daily um, video. I post stuff on my Facebook page uh -huh. and on my YouTube. I put all my videos up on YouTube. Nice. What is your uh, What is your YouTube? You can go ahead and put the type the link in, so we can. I'll have to go grab it after I get off the phone. Okay. Yeah. Go. Go. I can't multitask anymore. <laughs> no. Go grab it. That That's really cool. I know a part of the conversation never online didn't hear, but um. So I mean, you, I, your your main reason for vaping was for health reasons, and it sounds like you've worked out. I mean, you're not using your asthma inhaler anymore, so you don't have to deal with with that headache. You know, physically you're more in shape, um, and you you have this YouTube channel where you can actually tell your story, uh, and let you know, awesome. give your story out to people, which is great because, I mean, because it worked for you, and it could be, could inspire who knows how many people. Yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. She said I inspired her and her boyfriend to start baby. That's awesome. And that just like blew me away. Oh, I that is. Cry. Oh, that is really cool. I mean, it just you know, it just takes one person Ch change one person's mind. Yeah, help one person. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the whole goal. Yeah, you know, is the if you can get one person to stop, you know, and get one person to pick it up, you know, I mean, that's 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 what it's all about. You know, just changing the world one person at a time. Yeah, that's all it is. Hey, thank thank you for calling in, CJ, and good luck with the rest of your journey. Um, thank you for watching. Go ahead and post your link up there so people can actually go watch your videos. Cheers. Um, thank you for inspiring. Yes, Bye. yes. If you have a drink, cheers to CJ Love. Thanks. Have a good Bye. night, sweetie. I'll see you all in the room. Thank you. Bye. So that is awesome. I'm gonna turn off the. Uh, huh? Well, I'm gonna turn off the um, the screen lock. No. <clears throat> um. You know it's gonna kill your battery. Yeah, they make these things called chargers. Right. Don't know if they uh, get all huffy and shit. Don't know if they have those where you're from, but uh, never, never <laughs> lock. Cool. Um, yeah. So let's take another call. Um, next victim. I mean, subject. I mean, caller. Yes, you know, hit the speakerphone button. Okay. You know how an iPhone works. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Damn Android <laughs> users. <laughs> Which three Duke is this? This Duke is Ian Duke. Ian Duke. Charge you with an MVP? <laughs> no, I used to bring my MVP. Yeah, I could have done that. Okay. Awesome, awesome. CJ. Thank you very much, CJ. So who else would like to um, who else would like to call in and tell their story? Yes, please. More more callers. I'd love to hear what people have to say. I know someone's got to have a good story. Oh, there's tons of good stories. Yeah, I'm there. sure. Not that CJ's wasn't. No. <laughs> Other. 
Yeah. Other good stories as well. As you want the was. number? Should we let your brother have the number? Sure. All right. Oh, crap. What is it? 413659 vape? Is that what it is? 659 Hang on. V-A-P-E. I'm looking it up. I just posted it up here. I hope that's right. 413659 vape. When did I call you? Wednesday? Uh, yesterday. <coughs> Bad. 413-659-8273. Yes. Vape. There it is. There it is. That's the one the speakerphone. Um, hello, and who may this be? Hello? Hello? Hello, who may this be? Uh, wait, 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 hello? <laughs> hello? Who is this? Uh, you are, uh, just to get up Chinese. <laughs> really? Really, vape dudes? <laughs> <laughs> and this is... <laughs> You're all fired! <laughs> we attempt to do something serious, and this is why we never try, because... <laughs> <laughs> was that you? It fails before it started. <laughs> Go back to your hiding so, hole. Speaking of, where is Marcus? He said he was going to... Um, Oh, I'm looking at this ton of little demons running around the screen. <laughs> it's all good, Josh. <laughs> uh, making, I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch up on some of these comments. Hey, real quick, I see that uh, old Chi Yu uh, 2014, as we appreciate doing a giveaway on the show, as a sponsor, we just can't let that go by without doing something ourselves. Yes. So we want to give away a 120 mil bottle to somebody right now. Oh, oh shit. Random that, giveaway. That just happened. For 120 mil of uh, Three Dukes? Of Three Dukes Vapor. Whatever your Darn flavor, flavor, flavor whatever choice. your flavor of choice oh, is. Oh, damn. Awesome. Shit just got real. Sean sees you. Is that Pantheon, Sean? Only if Chi uh, Chi U twenty fourteen will do the uh, giveaway. Oh, oh, that's Sean. How you doing, buddy? I'm sorry. There's a couple of Sean. Have we not confirmed that Chi U is giving something away? I guess not. Oh, okay. I thought you were giving it away. Well, I, I, I maybe I got a text from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we giving something away or not? Should we give? Should we? Should we give away a? Uh... Broseph, you already said it. Yeah, you done did it now. <laughs> FGU gives away a pawn. My military escort was bombed by a terrorist group that kidnapped me, held me captive in the cave to build a massive missile for them. I ended up making myself a suit and made a escape from the cave. Are you reading the plot to Iron Man right now? Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's that. that, that yeah, that's, that's Iron Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, Iron Man. We're, we're, we're doing it. 120 mils. Cool. 120 I mean, mils. He, Random he, giveaway. He really had me going for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that happened. <laughs> okay, for 120 mils. Yes, there's an Iron Man Baraxis and uh, uh Vape Dudes has Where did you go? Sorso. Uh Source, I'm sorry. Sorso. Source just won that at the um He did, didn't he? Yeah, because we did the um in case you guys didn't know, we're gonna get back to this uh, random thing. In case you didn't know, so we're about two hundred and nine likes right now. For every time we reach another 100 likes, we are going to be giving away, um, because you have vape dudes, we'll be giving away a mod. Um, oh yeah, I meant to talk to you about this. <laughs> now that you and Ian are both live, we can talk about this. Oh, shit. Um, so at 500 likes, we are going to... Um, massive giveaway. Massive giveaway. Um, George has uh, volunteered the full, full line, line of Vape Dad. Around um, the world, vapes. Yeah, Miss um, Vape Dudes is putting in a chicken. They're giving away a chicken. A chicken. They're throwing a chicken in the pot. Uh, then we'll figure out what Vape Dudes is really giving away. Uh, Pip is giving away the full Suicide and King's Crown line. And uh, has also graciously donated the iHybrid Trinity 26650 and the Veritas. Yes. What is... Are you in on this? Keep talking. That's it. What are the Dukes going to give away for 500 people? Um... I didn't mean to put you on the spot. You know what? We've got two fall seasonal flavors coming out. Okay. And those are limited release. Okay. So I think that'd be a good time to give away two of those. Sweet. Big bottles? Probably. Sweet. Three Dukes is going to give away two big bottles 
of a limited edition juice. Um, so we'll save that for the 500th person. Whoever that wins that 500 person, 500 giveaway, I think I'm going to come to your house and take care of that stuff. Because <laughs> that, that is a ridiculous That giveaway. is a ridiculous and amount of merch. And yeah, boxes. and for, I mean, everyone involved, that is just, um, when you talk to Jeff, see what he's going to put in. For everyone involved, that is just ridiculous what, what everyone's contributing. So it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Spike. Um, oh, hey, Spike, what's up? So our random giveaway for the uh, 120 mils of uh, 3D yes. juice is me. Oh. Perry the platypus. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Perry the platypus, are you around? Please chime in. Agent B. Uh oh, we have a call. Uh oh, who do we have here? Awesome, Spike. Or not. Okay. Oh, I guess not. Um, are people pranking us already? I guess so. Awesome. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> Awesome, Perry the Platypus. Um, <laughs> go do three do. Uh, how do how does Perry the Platypus get in contact with you for that bottle? Um, Ian, actually, Ian, you're online. Uh, can you post up the best way for Perry the Platypus to get that uh, 120 of three dukes, please? Yes. <laughs> Work, boy. Orders at threedukesvapor.com. Okay, cool. And then also, That's Ian, can, can you put up the website real quick? <laughs> um, okay, that was Perry the Platypus calling. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Send the email. Um, also, go to 3 Check out the flavors they have. So what you're getting is a 120 of any one of their flavors and any nick level you want. Not any nick level you want. Any nick level that we provide. Any nick level that they provide. Sorry, a nick level of your choosing from the <laughs> options that are given to you, jackass. <laughs> hey, um, I just want to make it consistent. So once you find the flavor and the nick level that you want, uh, email orders at 3 and they will get that sent out to you. Braden, Ian, other brother who I've never met, thank you. Yes. Oh, any any time, man, any time. Why are you yelling nicotine? Oh God, really, man? Nicotine. <laughs> nicotine. <laughs> oh, nicotine. Good old blue waffle. Hey, uh, funny story about one of our uh, viewers. Actually, I saw him post this up on Facebook about how he. Uh, was uh, mixing some juice up the other day and accidentally thought that what he was licking off of his hands was actually flavor when it was actually 100% nicotine. Oh, who's this? Marcus. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, let me tell you a little that's story. That's why he didn't call in. He's dead. <laughs> Just real quick. Don't lick anything off your hand when you're making juice. No matter how convinced you are that it's okay. It's it's not. It's not. Even if it's not nicotine, just straight flavor concentrate will make you throw up. That shit is vile. Yeah. Oh my god. Everyone was like, "Oh, it's like LSD, only you don't hallucinate. You just vomit." <laughs> that is nothing like LSD. Okay, so you don't hallucinate. That just sounds like being really sick. Yeah. It's like taking acid without actually. Get any joy. Is, the joy is, of... Is this the time in the show when I explain what the symptoms of nicotine poisoning are? Yes, please. Yes, please do. Symptoms of nicotine poisoning. Have yeah. you had these? Headaches. Profuse sweating. Constipation. Diarrhea. Uh, I don't know Death. about diarrhea. <laughs> uh, shortness of breath can also be because it restricts the capillaries inside your lungs. So if you're experiencing any of those three things, headaches, oh, and nausea, headaches, nausea, profuse sweating, or uh, trouble breathing, you have nicotine poisoning, my friend. Awesome. And, and as someone who is, and it can go through your skin too. So I mean, yes. I know that Marcus licked it, which is an awful, awful idea. Uh, in, in our lab, I always do everything with gloves because it can even come through on your skin. Yep. Right. And I've gotten it on my bare skin before. Yeah. And uh, I got a small, like red rash ish area, and I got really sick. Yeah. And it was not fun. The worst I've had I, when when I was first testing out flavors and I first started, and I didn't know if it was the Everclear that I was using. To clean out the five ten, <laughs> drip the clean out the cardio drippers, or if it was nicotine, but threw up for like two hours. It was awful. Yeah, yes. Majesty is awesome. And actually, speaking of Majesty, I oh, have yes, I have mixed uh, Majesty with um, uh, banana fosters from uh, Vape Dudes. Oh my God! Let me let me, yeah. let me get a pull on that. Pass that over. Uh, hang on one second. Let me let me make sure that's not dry. Is it dry? I don't taste any banana. You want banana? Well, the banana is very subtle already. I definitely it? taste some Foster in there. Foster's. Foster's. 
Australian, Australian for beer. <laughs> That's not a beer. That is nice, but What now? Was this a new concoction? Possibly. Maybe. Has Actually, it really you decided? You taste that. See if they're that far off. <laughs> I'm glad none of us have mouth herpes. Uh, Currently. Uh, or like today. Ooh. You like that? Is this perfected? That's not mine. Well, it's half mine. It's half vape it's half mine. That's nice. <clears throat> I didn't bring anything. Pass it around. Pass it around. <laughs> yes, give. and you, because yeah, you you got that bottle of Majesty. I did. Yes, yeah. that was the competition juice, which that was. This is fucking weird, but it's good. <laughs> Isn't it? <coughs> Completely by accident, too. Completely by accident. Well, I have like um, I, I still have a little bit of Majesty left on the uh, cotton, and I uh, was uh, refilling my you um, can with uh, the bananas Foster, and I. You know, drip some on there and hit it, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's really fucking good, dude!" So, I mix it up about fifty-fifty in the you can. I like it. I, I, I want to reiterate something. Uh, Majesty is not a flavor available on three Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes it's the, it's uh, limited run competition juice. There were a hundred bottles made. Um, we might do something with it. Maybe she's, we're not and sure. As someone, a lucky viewer, at Amy's on Saturday got a bottle of it. Yeah, it, it was it was just for that special event. So I'm sorry we're sitting here and talking it up. I apologize. Yes, I, awesome, I TJ Love. Um, bottles. I'm sorry. Please introduce your fiance to the show. Um, have them like our Facebook page. Uh, if y'all haven't oh, liked yeah. it yet, go on to Redneck Vapor at uh, <laughs> Facebook.com and like that page. And uh, go watch my videos. I've got lots of videos, uh, lots of viewers. I've got about 150 something subscribers right now. Um, my goal is to be the uh, biggest reviewer on YouTube eventually. And what was a? Uh, let me post uh, uh, Facebook. dot com. Redneck vapor reviews. Yes. Reviews. Review. Wait. Review. We always do this. Hang oh on. God, Chris doesn't even know. It's, it's, reviews. it's reviews. It is reviews. Is it reviews? I'm almost hundred percent sure. Okay. Um, if you don't find it, just take out the S. Yes. Review. Oh damn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take out the S. Yes. Take out the S. Yes. <laughs> okay, don't click on that link. Copy, paste, remove the yes. S. It's, it's really a... It's horrible. It's I can't a, it's ever an, remember that. Can't. It's an exercise in problem solving. Really. It is. We should be taking another caller. We should, we be, should taking be taking another, another caller. Call. Why hasn't anyone called us yet? Yes, someone call, please. Oh, oh my God. Yes, vape, vape, dude's, vape dude's buttery nipple is phenomenal. It really is. I'm prone to sweet dessert flavors. I actually haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I, I've got the bottle of it. I just haven't uh, actually tried it yet. Uh, I'm sure they have some back there. Um, no, it's delicious. Yeah, don't don't like that Facebook page. It probably doesn't exist. Three Dukes Vapors with an S. With an S. <laughs> nope, Three Dukes Vapor. <laughs> Give the number again. Damn it. I'm Daniel sorry. Smokes it. Put up your What's the rest of it? Six, five. Why would I know that? I'm sorry. I, I just I, sp I purposely put the word vape in there so I didn't have to remember those four <laughs> digits. And now I'm having to... Okay, I'm sh everyone, you guys can read. I'm pretty sure you guys can read. Um, vape. V-A-P-E. Piss my... <laughs> right? What? I don't know. I can't see what's going on. Hey, speaking of giveaway stuff, did you oh, hear Oh, yes, that, uh... I'll do that. It's going to happen. Um, He's going to get a bunch of free stuff. Hey, bitch, okay. there's no secrets. There's no secrets. Okay. Just taking care of something. Yeah. TCB taking care of business. It's TCB. One, three. Yeah, write five, this shit down. Five. Where's your phone? Mine? Or her? Let me see your keypad. What do you feel what the numbers are? It yeah. is... Four, one, three, eight, two, six, seven. Yeah, eight, two, seven. Two, seven, three. <laughs> Write it down. He wanted me to make a card. <laughs> that is the number. Um, just if I look. At... Where is Marcus? Eight two seven three. I don't know. I was talking to him yesterday. I mean, I'm not complaining. I think he's on a vaping <laughs> hiatus right now. He's. A... Yeah, he is having a come to Jesus vaping moment. Yes. He's kind of. Long story. Uh, no, man. I'm not giving away any of my stuff. Um, I just got some new stuff that I'm very happy with, and I'm not giving it away. Yes. Me either. Mine. 
Josh has got it locked in this way. Yeah. Nice, dude. And just FYI, um, just in case anyone's thinking of sulking me, which I kind of hope you are, uh, that number will only <laughs> ring between 7 and 8.30 Central Standard Time. Oh, oh, so, oh, a caller. Uh-oh. Wait. Hang on. Good vaping show. Can we help you? Yes, it is. Who may you be? Hey, this is GU uh, 2014. Hey, what's going on, GU? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so what's well, uh? My story is I've been uh, vaping for like uh, let's see, uh, about a year and a half. Uh, I'm in the process of getting a license. All right. And I started when. I started in, uh, uh, when I started, I uh, was vaping uh, just twists and stuff, and then I started getting all them tanks, you know, that I know can made and all that stuff, <laughs> and started vaping with that, and then I decided, well, I'm going to go up to uh, 18650s, so I went up to 18650s, and I built a mod stand out of a jewelry box. Uh, out of a man's jewelry box. You just throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, I started getting mods on eBay, man. I tell everybody they should get their mods on eBay. It's awesome. I get, I, I usually get about everything I get on eBay. eBay is good. Um, it's great, especially you know if you if you don't live. I mean, we're just fortunate enough to live. Like I said, you know, you put your finger on the map of Dallas, you can find a vape shop. I'm sorry, I'm not hearing you too good. Okay, uh, let me speak up. I'm sorry. Um, I know we're fortunate enough to where we live. You know, you put your finger on the map of Dallas and you can find a vape shop. Um, so eBay is great, you know, if you don't live in an area like that. What I usually like to tell people, if, if there's a store around you, um, you know, try and support that store. I mean, eBay and online shopping is great for finding deals. Um, I always like to push people to the direction of actually, you know, going in the store, trying it out. Um, right. That's just me. I like going to brick and mortars. I like the interaction with the people and everything. But sometimes, I'll tell you what, man, I, I can't afford the stuff that is in some of the shops. And I'll go on eBay and try and find uh, things that I really want. Well, well hey, are you still there? Yeah, uh, yeah we're here. Yeah, I, I still, uh, I still do go to brick and mortars. I don't go to brick and mortar I go to. I get some stuff from there, too. Uh -huh. That's where I got all the stuff before that. Right. But I started getting my mods on eBay. And uh, I usually, when I do that, I usually look for combos, you know, yeah. that, that has everything. It comes with everything. Not everything, maybe not batteries sometimes, but sometimes batteries too. So, uh, but I mean, that, those batteries are not supposed to use anyway. So, but uh, the ones that do have good batteries, some of them have BTC 5 and stuff like that, and that's good stuff, you know. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so anyway, I got into the mods and, you know, I vaped, uh, was started vaping all, uh, all the, uh, drippers and, uh, was liking dripping real well. And then I decided to get a cape on and that's where I'm at right now. I got a cape on. I also got a BTR too. Uh, so I got a lot nice. of, got some, quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, VTRs are great. I have one, you have one, you have one. It's one of those, it's one of those mods. I wanted one for a long time and. I, I, yeah, I don't use that much anymore, but I love it. You do what now? I'm sorry, bud. Wait, can you can, can you say that again? I'm still a dripper. Still a dripper? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once you start dripping, I don't think it's... It's, it's pretty hard to stop dripping once you I'm actually still start. still a dripper at heart. It there is. you go. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you so much for calling in to you. Awesome. Hey, well, thank you for calling in and telling your story to you. Yeah, very cool, man. You guys got a good show. I like it. Thank awesome. you very much. Thanks, Thanks for, for viewing. And also, if you haven't, um, I'll just put the page up again. Go and like the page. Um, we're doing great. Okay, you guys have a good one. Awesome. You too, bud. Thanks. Awesome. Yes. This is working out pretty Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. The you hate the VTR? What? Who? I think Who you hates the VTR? Josh, you're the person that hates the VTR. Well, you know, the VTR hates you. Yeah. You're you're not good enough to have a VTR. Wow. I wouldn't Whoa, well, that was bold. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he started it. <laughs> Drinking PBR, fuck you. A VTR time of celebrating Vaughn's Live 3 anniversary. Oh, hey. Who? Cool. Oh. Sons of bitches, right in the middle of my damn show. <laughs> on Live, the people who host it post a message in the middle of my Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, come on, Vaughn. Please don't cancel my channel. Vaughn <laughs> <laughs> Live. When this is done, people go clear. Uh, Gutros, a VTR, uh, do you have yours with you? I do not have mine. Okay, a VTR is a, it's a box mod. Uh, do you have it here? I think so, see if you can grab one. Um, we're going to try and grab one uh, to, to show you. Uh, basically, Anakin makes there is a variable voltage. What the fuck's going on here? Okay, yeah, there's a VTR. It's a variable voltage, variable wattage um, box mod. It's they, a lot like the um, um, Pravar, or the Vamo or... Um, just in box form. Yeah, just in box form. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I like it. I love mine. Yeah. That being oh, said, yeah, I mean, I used it. <laughs> yes, MVP's big brother, basically. Doesn't have the rechargeable yeah, yeah, battery. Yeah, one. Oh, this one. That is a VTR. That uh, is the black chrome version? That got your, is a stainless steel chrome. Got your button on the chrome. side. You can uh, just battery door right there. It's just chrome, chrome. And the way it works, <laughs> you hit the button, it shows you the resistance of your Addy, and you actually turn this wheel to change your settings. I think you have 9.5. Um, you can change back forth between variable, vol variable voltage and variable wattage. It's uh, it's a hell of a mod. It's a, it's a workhorse. Please, please, out. Love you guys. Hey, thank you, Ian, from Three Dukes Vapor. Yes, thank um, you. My beard is combed. What are you talking about, man? I'm styling and profiling over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's too hot to wax, you know, because you go out there and you're looking good and everything, and then you get Start sweaty sweating. and it starts drooping. Yeah, and, and you have sad, sad mustache. And also, Gutros, that that may be a that may be a battery problem. If his battery wouldn't charge, I mean, it's possible to modify the battery, but that could just be a shit battery. So it's hard to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've never had an issue with it. I've everyone knew I've talked to that has them has never had an issue with them. So, but I'm again, that's that's luck of the draw. It is again. You know, we talk about all the stuff. It's still a piece of electronic. Yeah. You know, it's it still has problems. So always the possibility of uh, failure. Yes, and they have an extension tube for the VTR, which I think looks a little ridiculous, Scorpio. Um, but he managed to put his cape on top of it, and yeah. it's, it's like this. Yeah, I like the blow profile look of the uh, the tank. See, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, you can put, yeah, exactly. Okay, I didn't see the question about that. Yeah, you can put a dripper now, but the thing is with putting a dripper on something like the VTR on a re on any regulated device, um, it'll only read so much. So something like this, the DNA box, um, this will only read down to 0 0.8 ohms. So if you build a dripper at 0 0.7 or 0.6, it will not fire. Something like this, uh, the hex ohm will read down to 0 0.2. So if you build a dripper, um, 0 point, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, or something like that, you can run it on this. This is regulated, but the chip is a little bit different. Uh, something like the VTR chip, you can't do, uh, I believe it's 1.1 is what Anakin says, the lowest it'll go. You can, it actually fires down to 0.8. It does, 5.8. You can only go up to 15 watts, so. Yeah. But that's hit or miss, it may. Yeah. Because if it's, it's, it's 0.81, you know, it goes on 0.79, you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. VTR it's not recommended. Some of them... We'll cut off at 1.1, some will fire down to 0.8. See, my MVP, I built a pro tank at 0.8 on it. Hey, you know what I think You know, I think we need to do here for a second? I think we need to have Vape Dude himself come on. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Chris, come on, dude. Come here. You can sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right there. Yeah. I'm sitting his beard. Yeah, go for your beard ride. <laughs> sit right on your head. So this is the Vape Dude himself, Chris. Another Chris. Oh, he, he's abiding right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, why, Chris, why didn't you tell us, because um, I think your story may be a little bit different, uh, because you actually started the uh, vape news. <laughs> so, why didn't you tell everyone your story, your vaping story? Oh, my vaping story. So actually, back in maybe late 2009, early 2010, I was in Houston uh, at a buddy's place. Wanted to smoke a cigarette, and he wouldn't allow it. And uh, he had a, an old ego that you kind of drip in. Uh, oh, before the, the tanks, yeah. You just take a little tip yeah. off and just uh, drop it in there. So I, uh, I kind of I, I pulled a few draws on it, and uh, about five minutes later, I was like, man, I don't feel like smoking a cigarette anymore. This is pretty nice. So uh, I took that away with me for 100 bucks, 
and a couple of... <laughs> That's all I'm sinking for you. <laughs> Wow. And you, it know was, they, you know they give those away for free. <laughs> <laughs> and it was crap. I think you get it was the, the, the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> so I sat them out for a while and I took away a couple of bottles of juice that just kind of handwritten. Uh, one was tobacco and one was fruit blend. Oh, shit, yeah. So uh, I did that for a bit oh, until that thing got all gunked up and I didn't know anything about cleaning what, atomizers or anything. Yeah. So I just kind of went back to smoking. Those were the bridge what's in, here? in there, right? Oh yeah, okay, just those yeah. crap. Oh, they were they were terrible. But you know, at the time, it was uh, you know to me uh, compared to a cigarette, it was it was amazing. Yeah. So. yeah. So then, so what did you have some? Was that some kind of your moment? Or did you have some sort of epiphany? To, that was it. You know, to where it was like nobody. You know, I had not heard of this. You know, living in Dallas, so I was yes. like, we can make yeah. juice. You know, so we tried our hand at it, and that's kind of that's kind of where it went. Because vape dudes itself is. I, mean, you, I know you guys sell hardware and mods and everything, but you're actually a juice company. Well, we didn't sell any hardware or anything. It was just juice. juice yeah. Okay. But at the time, kind of late 2010, you know, people are like, well, what do we do with the juice? <laughs> like, you yeah. know, so uh, it was tough because there wasn't a whole lot on the market. So we just kind of carried beginner kits and uh, and actually got some help from some local shops and getting some uh, some Joytech stuff just to throw on the site. But Just to have something to... That's kind of where it started. But I didn't really quit smoking until... The lava tube. Ah, I cranked the, the lava tube, tube with the tank, and it was Not like that was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that is a lava tube. That, that's the know. lava tube. That's that is the, today's lava tube. That's today's <laughs> lava tube. Not the lamp. Not the OG lava tube. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it. But I mean, that's cool though that you know you just. You tried it, and you said, well, shit, and you just kind of did it. Well, yeah. nobody and nobody was selling it in town, so yeah. I thought, you know, let's make it, and uh, we hit up. Freaking Harry Hines and God, that shops was. and and uh, ancient. <laughs> it was and there was <laughs> nothing out there really. I mean, so I, just give them you know everything that's going on now. That seems like a lifetime ago. No yeah. one, no one had a clue. What, what to the work, to where we are today. It's crazy it's to think of how different things are now than they were back in 2010. And, and I mean, how fast it did. Just bam. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I mean, even that, how different things are were in 2010 from back in like the early 2000s when. You know, we talked about this before, when the only things you could get were the online Chinese things oh. that were like the little cigalite looking deals, but they had like, you could fill the juice up. Yeah. You know? So I think the first time I tried, I don't remember when it was, maybe early 2000s? It was like one of those carts in the mall. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had them. Like, yeah. What the fuck is this guy doing? Anywhere? Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was something like that. It's like, oh, this is ridiculous. Just gimmicky. I would have jumped on it. Like you know, they were like, I you know, I should have you know? jumped on that the ball right there. But the evolution of it from talk, you know, two or three years ago, you talked to smokers about it. They glaze over and they're like, "All right, let's hear your spiel of your yeah. what you're not using. You know, you're using to not smoke anymore." But after five minutes, literally, they're like, "Can I get that one from you right there? No, you have, can I have that? Hundred fifty dollars." Yeah. <laughs> China. We were ordering from China. Oh my God, ordering juice from China. You do. Two sixty-five for a double Firefly kit. Like real fireflies. <laughs> yeah, that's worth it. Oh, we're gonna sell the we're gonna sell the round eye and uh, real fry fry. <laughs> Smoke in the mall. Oh my god. It must have been all fireflies. Airplanes, fireflies. malls. Yeah, but when we came over here, we I mean it's a flight from South Africa. It's, you know, it's eleven <laughs> hours. <laughs> my dad was just wait there. for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird now. Fry fry. <laughs> you can't do it. It's just so weird to think back about that. Again, back of the story, I one time I had a 2007 HD, $10,000 of Chinese... What? Jesus. <laughs> you got a... Chinese, Chinese juice? $10,000 worth of Chinese <laughs> juice <laughs> seized by seized customs. By customs. <laughs> back in the day. Oh, back shit. Back in the like, <laughs> when, when they were... Back in the age stuff. times. <laughs> and now customs still give the you The Stone Age of Vaping. Uh -huh. <laughs> As a buddy of mine, he orders like one, everything he orders is from babies. you know Israel yeah, or Austria months. or something. Right. He's like, yeah, I ordered like, this thing. Yeah. It's, it's been sitting in customs like for six weeks. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. It's crap, and they're, they're gonna start keeping it too. I think. <laughs> you think they keep it and sell it? What's they gonna do with it? Why not? Probably use it. We get empty packages <laughs> return all the time. Do <laughs> <laughs> <I'm like>, you <laughs> really? <laughs> they come back. Like, I did. I came <laughs> over in a banana boat, Josh. <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Confessions <laughs> on the Good Vapor Podcast. <laughs> I get like good stories, yeah. See, and the, the thing about, you know, like the blues and the gas station cigarettes, I mean, Dallas, because a few weeks ago, you bought a handful of those. 
Like the views one? You wore the handful of those when we tried them. Oh, they're foul. God, it was awful. <laughs> Not even in a pinch. Not even like, no, this dude. is all I have. It's terrible. Mm, no. I'd rather smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 you hear that? R.J. Reynolds it, and Philip Morris? <laughs> it's I terrible. Mean, maybe that's their plan. Uh, probably is. Uh, We're going to tell them this is good for, you know, a thousand puffs, and it's only good for three. Brother, if I came over in a De Beers cargo you container, have, I would not have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be doing this on a Friday night. <laughs> Or maybe you'd only be on the I'd be on my yacht. <laughs> Same. You to everyone. outdraw them. What's that? You outdraw the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, if well, you draw, draw, man, if you draw you on them hard Three enough. Three-second draw. What, what? Yeah, if you draw on them hard enough to know. actually get some sort of, like, vapor production that looked like anything like smoke, it, you know, does a little flash delay on you and everything. Yep. Danger, danger. Yeah. The, the danger, Will Robinson. You're drawing the cigarettes on you can saw. Okay, see, that's cool that you went, so you didn't have to deal with any of that shit. So that's good. And I gave my two Ego 2 batteries when you first you know, My two Ego 2 batteries away. And you go into a friend's when I go to get back. Oh, you got to jump back in. Hey. hey Chris, thank you, dude. We'll see you guys hey, soon. Hell of a job with everything you've accomplished. Oh, yes. thank you, thank you. Some of these vapors. Yeah, thank you for great. not hitting the mic with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these vapors something great. Grape? Great. 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 Uh, great. I have blueberry cheesecake in here. I don't know. It just weird. What's it smell like? I couldn't. It was so quick, but it was enough for me to go. What is that? <laughs> flavor? Does yeah, it smell like this? No. Oh, it's just <laughs> Lay a tip on that. Yeah, just put your tip in that. <laughs> See how that feels. Just the tip. So does the audience know you guys as, are filming Hobbit As style? delicious as this is, I don't Hobbit know what it smells. This is good. <laughs> Hey, my feet aren't... Well, okay, they're pretty hairy. <laughs> wow, tree of MVP. You have MVP, see... Uh, There's such hmm, a mix maybe. of flavors in there now. <laughs> <laughs> I have two MVPs. I love them. I never yeah. use them, but I love them. They're my R2, my C3PO's. Yeah. yeah. And they're just... Apple they're my apple droid mods, and I love them. Is that... Tree of life. And <laughs> what's, uh, which Segalia do you have, CJ? Do you have an Apple anywhere? I will clear that. Here, give me a... But I have some. Give me... Give me, uh, like, a ten or something. Oh, <laughs> oh, the Segele Hunterwalk box mod. I don't know. I th I just want to rip it. Part of me wants to say it's a little too late. You know, Segele. I think if Segele came out with a Hunterwalk box mod six months ago, six. yeah, it would have been great. But you know, the the DNA is more easily obtainable. Which fifty watts on a box mod? Do you, I mean, well, hundred hundred watts on a box mod. Do you really? You know what? I, on on eBay recently. EBay. Uh, I looked on there recently. I was looking at box mods, and it is saturated with 150 to 100 watt box mods. It's just all over the damn place. This this goes up to 50 watts. You know what this is now? It's turned to zero. Obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's at zero, and it does the trick. I need 50 watts of a yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's like uh, you know the the uh, vicious ant box mod that they came out with. They want 20 or whatever. It's Five hundred dollars, first off, for the mod. If you can find one, fifteen hundred on eBay. Market. People yeah. got fifteen hundred bucks on eBay. Yeah, but um, it, it goes up to like one hundred and fifty watts or something ridiculous, and uh, people yeah, make with it like that. Right there, yeah. Why? Because I think more is better. Don't they? So. Don't they have DNA in a? Well, I want to say there is a DNA thirty mod that is a two. Oh, oh, Jesus. There's what? <laughs> There's a DNA 30 mod that is a There is. There is. I've seen it. Um, I can't think of the it, name. It looks, right. it looks a lot like the uh, lava tube, actually, but it's got a, a DNA 30 chip. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty simple. I'll, I like keeping my tube mods, mech, and my box mods regular. Yeah. Or adjustable, I'm sorry. Very many for my fans there. Oh wow, Pravaris. That's another that's another one that stood the test of time. It's a solid year. <laughs> it is, but they are also overpriced for what they are too, because like I went from a Vamo V three to a Pravari, um, full size yeah. Pravari, and then when I got my VTR, which was a hundred dollars less right. than the Pravari was, I never fucking touched my Pravari again. I mean it just sits in, in the you know, the they first the market where they got their money now it's kinda Yeah. yeah. Well, they just came up with a new one. The dragon one? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which just has a different design on it. Yeah, right. It's the same thing, it's just same a different design. exact thing. Yeah. Like, Let's put a dragon on it. I mean, you know, I tell people, I'm like, look, if you're, you know, like kind of beginner vaping, you know, and you're just starting to get yeah. into, like, the, uh, if you're still in Cardos and stuff like that, you know, but you have, like, a pro tank and everything, yeah, dude, yeah, get, get you Bavari, man. Yeah. I mean, it's a great mod. I've dropped mine a hundred times, it and it still yeah. works yeah. out too. Their warranty's good, and you can yeah, My yeah. thing is, for the price, well, it's a Bavari 220. About two hundred, but no, did that, I mean, no, once you get the extended cap, like one eighty, one eighty, two hundred after all the so, yeah, and the fifty dollars for a different light, yeah, button. So I, roughly, around that like my zombie more. was one, yeah, my exactly. Zombie was one ninety five. It's funny. I heard the story. Speaking of things, speaking of Provaris, it was a very short went to the other day. A customer came in and he came with this Provari, and he's like, "This thing's broken. I just got this. It's broken." Fifteen minutes later, he's like, "See what it does?" Pushes the button. It's like every time I push the button, it lights red. <laughs> <laughs> The default light is red. <laughs> Make the def- and then that's you go, bad. Yeah, like, see, it's just broken. This battery is every time. I don't know. That's just, I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but for the price, you can get better things. You know, for 200, for, if I had 200 bucks just dropping yeah, the model, I wouldn't buy Bravari. It's where I'm going. Yeah, but oh, yeah, For yeah. me, but that's just me, you know. Is that somebody else? What? Buffalo McCann. I mean, jeez. What is that? There's such a mix of flavors. You're all going to walk out of here smelling like syrup. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, see, and that's the thing. They put the dragon on it. I walked out of the tattoo more. shop last night smelling like weed, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, cool. it's, what you look, it's what you look for in a tattoo shop. Yeah, you know. <laughs> this one. <laughs> it was actually funny, too, because my buddy, my buddy owns the shop, right? And I know I know he smokes. And it's, you know, it's cool. I don't care, you know, because he doesn't smoke while he's doing tattoos or anything like that. Starting before that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but, like, they had a guy actually come into the shop and sell them weed. And, you know, I, I like the smell of it. I don't like to smoke it because I don't like the way it makes me feel. Yeah. But I like I still like the smell of, like, just the nuggets itself, and I'm smelling it. <laughs> nuggets? Yeah, the nuggets. Get That's what they were. They were little round nuggets. I mean... Did you guys make a ratio? Weed flavor? Max, Yeah, everybody Go claims one. Like the only one I smell that smells like a pine. Wow, okay, yeah. The one I smell yeah. smells like it's, vomit it's baby it's shit. I tell you what, though. Uh, there is, oh, like, a, 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 there's a juice, actually, at Pantheon sells. It's like a hops something or another. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm really talking about? You know what? Some hops extracts. It's but like it, 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 this, oh, this God, stuff that they you. smell, it smells exactly like bud. Oh really? Yeah, so hops can. Yeah. 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 See, because uh, I, I was at I was at ECA on Monday for uh, Mod Monday, and Daniel was up there with it, and he's just blowing oh, clouds yeah. with it, and I'm like, someone's partying. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, there's a place around us um, in Plano. What they do. I've never been. This is what someone that works there told me. You can go in and you can put in money and you know you just pluck five bucks, fuck a little bottle. Same uh-huh. thing. It's just any juice. It's like going to a bar and you know you pay. Oh, I'll take a Bud Light or whatever. You just pay and they give you like a small five mil bottle of juice, which is an awesome. I wish there were a couple more places like that where you could go, not uh-huh. like a vape shop or like a bar, but kind of a mix of both. Right. Yeah. Well, we were actually drinks like, hey, give me a cherry cheesecake. You know. We were actually talking about whatever. something similar to that, like taking an old uh, cigarette vending machine and refurbishing it to uh, mm-hmm. deal out um, e juice. Uh, you can't do that anymore, apparently. Well, you just gotta be. It's gotta be doing your shop. Stand by. We have a call. Stand by. Oh, we got a call. Wait, hold on, sorry. <laughs> Technical. Technical difficulties. Technical um, difficulties. Go vape show. Hello? 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 Who may this be? Um, this is Spike. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, your mom won the um the 134 that you guys gave away. Yeah. So. Yeah, she did. Even though uh, she loves it and everything, but she can't really carry it to work. <laughs> so oh. currently I'm using it while well. she's using the variable voltage battery that I had that takes a while to charge. There you go. Hey, it worked out um, good for you, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out good for you, didn't it? Well, yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Even though I don't have anything, you know, real nice to use on it, like yeah. um, a Tove or a rebuildable Addy or yeah. anything like that, I have a Vivinova, uh, an iClear 30B, and a BCC Mega Tank to put on it, but I do rebuild the coils on them. Yeah, so, it's the end of... Uh, when the 30Bs came out, I rocked those for a while. I, I'm not a big fan of the iClear tanks, but that tank was cool. The bottom coil, iClear. And, I mean, the, and the thing is, well, the thing is with the one, I mean, can I see yours real quick? Uh, this is a 134 that uh, Shelby from Vape Dudes has over here. I mean, it's a, it's a Carter tank on top, you know, it's, 
nothing extravagant it's a good solid tank it's it's one of those mods that you can put anything on and it works you know you don't have to break the bank on something like a rebuildable hell you, you can put an aero tank or a pro tank or you know a vivinova or something on it and it'll do the trick it's, it's one of those kind of all-purpose mods so you can really go anywhere with it okay um one of the other funny things is if my mom tries to uh do what i do which is uh from uh I, I guess you could say tank to lung. Oh, about to lung, yeah. Yeah, I do that, and she tries to do it, and she starts to cough, and I tell her that it's going to take her a while before she can do anything like that. Yeah, but, but um, it is. She, she does, thank you for that, and then also the juice and the shirt. Oh, hey, dude, yeah, not not a problem, anytime. I'm glad, uh, you know, the, the whole point of all of this is helping people, you know, getting people to stay away from cigarettes and just... Helping people get good quality stuff, you know, because there's a lot of areas where people live when they, you know, they, all they have is just cheap shit out there. They have to break the bank buying online. So anything we can do to help people out getting good quality stuff is, you know, we're we're all about yeah. that. And again, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, without without vape dudes and you know three dudes without any of the sponsors we have, we wouldn't be able to do any of that. So so hats off to all of them as well. Yeah. Now, Last night she almost had a complete and utter breakdown because uh -oh. all batteries in the house, except for my starter battery, which is a, uh, it's from Vapor Shark, uh -huh. about a year ago before they started having their little box mods and everything. It came with my Vivi Nova tank. It had a capacitor on it, but all batteries were virtually dead. Oh. And she was about to flip out. She, she came in here, gave me her, said, here's the mod, here's all my juice take it, I'm done with this vaping thing, and I'm like, what, what's wrong? So I sat down with her, and I explained to her everything, and then I started Google searching and trying to find different ways of being able to still vape without a battery. There was one way that I found. Um, it involves using a USB cable and a torn down, you know, basically a torn down battery. Yeah. Basically, you're using the 510 connector, and you're hooking up the power and ground to the USB cable. Now, it now, works, but I think I need a better cable. Now, when it comes to stuff like that, I, I saw pictures on posts online. When it comes to stuff like that, like kind of rigging up a, a makeshift power source, just be real careful uh, when you start doing stuff like that. Um, I mean, if you know what you're doing, um, not a problem, but uh, just be real careful you're doing those makeshift, makeshift power sources. Um, well, that, that's uh, another thing, too. People are always telling me, yeah, you know, it's easy to make coils and everything. You gotta use an ohms meter and all that. Yeah. I'm like, well, whenever I build coils for my iClear 30, the BCC Mega, uh -huh. Vivi Nova, I wrap the coil, I wick it, put a little juice on it, then test fire it. If it fires, it's good to go. What else it is, I have no idea. <laughs> it's either a three wrap, a four wrap, yeah. a five wrap. You know, it, it, that's, all, that's all I know. I don't have an ohms meter or anything. The one that I did have was on a multimeter, and now it doesn't even register power. And honestly, um, and the... The dome smoother, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you're building at. It's more of a safety thing, just to make sure that you don't have any shorts on yeah. it. So, But hey, um, Spike, thank you so much for calling in, brother. We have to, um, we're a little bit over time, so we have to bolt. But I appreciate you calling in. Everyone else who called in, thank you. Everyone who tuned in tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go. Before we go. Vape Dudes just gave us this to, give a, to do a giveaway. Uh-oh. Adam Elite. Yeah, it's the Adam Elite. Uh, Adam Elite uh, mod. Oh wow, that is a tiny little thing. It, it's telescoping. Telescoping. It's tele, like that. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You're fired. Jesus, <laughs> mom, I can do it. Okay, it's hey, telescoping, so it can take anything from a 350 to a 18650. Um, nice little. Actually, it's just a solid locking. Yeah. Locking button, not yeah. lock ring. <laughs> lock ring. I said lock ring. Give it away! Jeez. It's just the mod. It's just the mod. No batteries, no charges, no addies, no tank. Um, There's a lot of love with that mod. There's a lot of love with that mod. It, does, love with that mod. it does come with love. Um, take that for what it's worth. It's a beautiful piece. <laughs> and our winner is... Uh, the winner is... Uh, uh, bugger. Did it do it? Did I hit delete? Instead of enter? What the fuck? What's the shit? Oh, wait, oh, there it is. No, wait. No, it isn't. <laughs>
Uh, there we go. CJ, CJ Love. Love. Are you hey, all right. right. Awesome, CJ Love. Um. <laughs> Wait, it's doing it again now. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> sorry, Gutros. What's going on? <laughs> CJ Love, head over to this website, vapetudes.com. Uh, the wonderful lady, Jen, will take care of all your needs. Give her your address and your name, and they will get that yeah. shipped out to you. Yes. Well, not... Shut up. They will get that shipped out to you this week. Uh, so, again, thank you for... Let's go have a good crowd tonight. Yeah. Thank you for everyone that logged on. Um, again, if you're not a fan of the page, go like the page. Um... Get our numbers up there. We'll be giving more shit out. Um, do you all, Do you have yours too? I'm trying. Chris is putting up his. Go watch his review videos. I uh, want to say thank you to our host, Vape Dudes. Thank you to Three Dukes. Thank you to Vape Dad. Thank you to Apothecary. Thank you to Suicide Bunny and King's Crown. Uh, we couldn't do this without the support of you guys. And especially the support of you guys. Um, not to get too sappy. Jeez, are you done? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Christmas page to you. Thank you. Bye. Later.